dude, I, I don't get it. Uh, I don't understand. I, I just don't. This week, King made me do the unthinkable. It made me become the sole thing I sought to destroy. He made me Instalock Reyna. Okay, honestly, so I don't know about you guys, but I've been getting a ton of Instalock no comms Reynas in my games. And I don't know why. What's the big deal? Is there something I'm missing out on? Is your kit really just that insane? Uh, do you get more XP for locking Reyna? Well, for this video, that's my goal. Find out if you should be locking Reyna. But before we get started, if you are a Reyna main, one, I hate you, but two, we can help you if you're trying to learn some more agents. We at Skillcapped have Radiant produced courses for every agent in the game. So if you're trying to pick one up, why not have a Radiant One Trick help you out? Check out the website at skillcup.com if you're interested. Now, King wanted me to play Reyna for the week, talk about her strengths, weaknesses, play styles, all that jazz. With the first game that I played, I learned something the hard way and pretty quickly. And it's that Reyna is like a child, like a child that you never wanted. You gotta babysit her, take care of her, uh, set her up for success, like you should if you actually had a kid. Now, you might be telling me, okay, Teets, you can just sit in an off angle and get a free kill every round. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but not if you're playing against anyone with half a brain. Good players are going to use utility to take map control, and if you're Reyna, your flashes don't help you so much. So if you really want to fight something, you should have your teammates use utility to help you fight something. That sounds pretty simple, but the issue with this is that teammates don't really help you out all the time. Just watch these clips from my first game of installing Reyna. I flash it. Yeah. Eat it. They eat it? Okay, I'm gonna follow it this time. Pull cap! Get a pop the flash. <laughs> Last player standing. What up? Hey Sky, can you flash mid for me? Yeah, I got you. She throws the flash. She, just, she never pops it. I swear, and I just get shit on. Hey, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta pop the flash. Want to try it again, Sky? Yeah. That's right, it. You can flash like high up here. You know what I'm saying? No prisoners. Or like maybe a little further there. back, like that. Yeah. Should be good. Okay, this motherfucker does auto blind. It's all good. Okay. You guys, are, you guys gotta be trolling, right? Okay, now sure, I probably could have used my own flash as well, but would the outcome really have been that much different? I asked for my sky to flash for me, but like she doesn't even pop it. I don't get it. And then the next round is just a massacre. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have asked my KO for help. That's my fault. My bad. I thought he could throw a flash in a normal spot and not blind me. But if I were able to play Jet, Neon, or Chamber, I could at least follow up off of my teammate's utility better than Reyna could. If I'm on Jet and my team flashes me, I could at least dash away, or if I'm Chamber, I could teleport out. And I don't even have to hit my shots with those agents. If they whiff, they just leave. So by the first game, I'm already bewildered as to why anyone would pick this agent and somehow have fun. But some of you don't know me, and I don't give up easily, or I have a high pain tolerance, I don't really know. So I decided to play some more games and just assume that I had a bad experience. But to save my eyes and sanity, I decided to duel with someone who I know could set me up well, and that's King. King was my pocket Sova, joining for me and allowing me to become the raid boss Reyna can truly become. If you have an initiator that actually knows how to initiate, life is just so much easier. And it was in this game where I found out why people like Reyna so much. And it relates to a really popular question I hear a lot. Question is, how come I'm able to frag out in deathmatch, but when it comes to ranked games, I just can't aim straight? Well, in deathmatch, the only thing you're worried about is your gun and where it's pointing. But in a game, you're worried about so much more. You're thinking about comms, utility, positioning, rotates, openings, and you just can't focus as hard as you'd like on killing someone. It isn't easy. But with Reyna, you don't have to think about any of those things. Positioning doesn't matter as much, her utility sucks, so all you have to really worry about is your crosshair. And this is what I realized when playing with King. When he was droning, all I had to do was focus on my crosshair. And I was getting all the entries in the world. Just follow Sova's drone, and I get free kills. And in that Breeze game, the round where my teammates actually flashed for me were the rounds that we actually won. So while people say that Reyna is independent and can make plays on her own, I don't necessarily agree. Sometimes she can if the person playing her can hit her shots, and if she's playing against people who aren't playing the situation correctly, but even then, I just don't think she's reliable. And then speaking of utility, I mentioned it earlier, but honestly, I'm not a huge fan of her flashes. I already mentioned how they aren't that great, and her heal and dismiss are just selfish. She's what people thought Jet was at the beginning of the game. You know, Sova has this great voice line where he says, if you're not a good shot, don't worry, there are other ways you can contribute, or, or something. But if you're Reyna, is that always true? She can flash for her teammates. But like I said, if the enemy team is decent, they'll just get shot. And then after her flashes, that's all she has. So why not replace her with a useful agent? Uh, like Ko, Sky, anyone, Breach. 
Look at this example from one of my games I played. So, Chamber was opping mid from the previous round from Vents. So I tried to throw my flash so they could push him off the Vents angle. He outplayed me by moving the mail, but I still had the right idea. This dude's opping mid, so I need to use utility to push him back. Now imagine I was on KO. I could throw my knife in this corner and just eliminate all possibility of him being able to op me. And if he does, we run him down since he's suppressed. Brainy's utility just sucks. And look at the very next round. Ray's knows her A main and decides to run at us with her ultimate. As Reyna, I need to kill her and dismiss, or run away and give up a map control. But, I mean, that should be easy, right? Uh, just one tap of Ray's out of midair, she's flying at you with a rocket launcher. Uh, that sounds good to me. Now, if I'm KO in this situation, I could default my knife close, as a good KO would, and stop all this from happening. That's two back-to-back -back rounds where had I just picked a different agent, these rounds would have played out so much more differently. And pros feel similarly too. Check out this tweet from T-Dog, a professional player for Metro Esports. There are just so many better agents to pick than Reyna. So please, stop throwing my games and pick someone else. All right, so at this point, you might be asking yourself, wow, is Teets a bully? All he's done so far is talk badly about Reyna. She must feel awful. No, she's not all bad. Don't get me wrong. On some maps, I'd even consider her to be slightly meta. Her flashes are really good for one thing, and that's scaling. On maps like Icebox or Breeze, the way you attack on those maps is by using your utility to scale up the site. Her flash is pretty simple, and by throwing it, you should know what angles are covered and what isn't. This is also a really good way to protect other pieces of utility. Like if your Sova drone is going in, use your flashes to protect it so that it can get all the way up site. Or on Breeze, when I hit an entry, throwing out my blind was enough for me to go out on the site, blind the operator from picking me off, clear close, and then get on the site really easily. The issue would come in when I would want to go through the wall. If I threw my blind through Viper's wall, it's kind of an invitation to get punished, as that's pretty punishable. It's not like Chaos Flash where you can't really see it. It's a big purple glowing eyeball in the sky that I throw up there saying, hey guys, I'm pushing through the wall, come shoot me. Again, I would have to ask my sky for a flash if I wanted to give my team an advantage or take more of sight or make a play or something. But another one of her strengths though is playing in off angles. Again, against worse players who don't really clear certain angles or use utility to clear them, plays like this are possible. This off angle isn't something that people expect that often, especially when somebody's baiting for me. It's because if I'm KO, for example, I could never play in this spot and do what I just did and get away with it. I mean, granted, I overextended towards the end of the clip and should have dismissed, but a better Reyna with more experience would have won her team the round and kept herself alive. Now that I've played in these off angles, the enemy team has to use more utility to clear me out because I could be there, meaning less utility for the sight hit. And this is where Reyna shines. But and this is a big butt, I think that more utility-based comps are always going to win against Reyna and Jet comps. So after these games, I was sick of Reyna. It was like your dad making you smoke a pack of cigarettes to make you hate them. Uh, she's just gross. And I decided to run some Omen, as I'm a controller and Sentinel main. Now, just look at our team comp versus the enemies. How in the world are any of us supposed to hold on a site? Yeah, it's impossible. We got two 10 done defense, and the only rounds we won were was when I told my teammates, hey guys, they have a ton of utility, and we can't hold sites on our own. And we can't play retake, since we basically have no utility. What we have to do is stack towards one site, trip garage or B, and then you three or four fight that one side of the map while I anchor down the other half. It's the only way that made sense. We have no utility to fight, so we need to group up together and fight one half of the map, and hopefully our team can hold the other so that we can pinch. This round, my KO flashed my Jet and I down C long. We fought the players, and the players in A site pinch, and then we won the round. It's sort of like you gather all the useless agents into one area, and they combine into like one big useful agent that's really hard to take down, even with a ton of utility. Like Jet's saying to Reyna, hey, break my dog and I'll kill him, or Reyna says, I'll flash for you while you go for a peek and then I'll break your dog, that type of thing. By playing coordinated like this, this is how you win with these types of comps. Like for more proof, check out Paper Rex, a professional team based out of Singapore that played in Iceland and did pretty well with this puggy haven comp. They even beat the guard. They aren't afraid to fight and make these low utility comps work. They can work, but you need teamwork and communication and trust. These are just rare things to see in Rain. That's all we got for our video today. But remember that if you're really looking to improve a Valorant, I highly recommend checking out scopecap.com. We get it. You're just a player trying to get better at the game. That's why you're watching this video in the first place. You're capable of hitting that rank that you deserve, but there's no shame in asking for a little help. At skillcup.com, we spend hours going through viewer submitted replays to let you know all the mistakes that you're making. We also couple this with our smart commentaries to show players that it is possible to carry themselves out of whatever rank that they're stuck in. It might seem hopeless at times, but trust me when I say that we can help you all out. All you have to do is check out skillcap.com, link in the description below.
So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about Reyna and why you shouldn't probably pick her. In my opinion, I think she's the worst agent in the game, but that doesn't mean that you can't make her work. She just isn't creative enough for me, and I'd much rather play an agent that can get value, even when my aim is shaky. All in all, on a tier list, I'd probably put her in like a C or D tier, and I'd probably give her like a 5 out of 10. She just meh. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It really does help us out. And that's all for us. I'm Teets, and we here at Skullcap want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.